Amazon product review roundups, the staple of any niche website's content plan. In this video, I'm gonna show you how in just 20 to 30 minutes, I was able to create and publish the article you're looking at right now. You've probably already created some of these Amazon product review roundups. Something like the top five dog brushes for Labradors or the top 10 toasters for baguettes. You know the kind of thing. Everyone's got some of this content on their website. Now, of course, nowadays you should create a diverse range of content, including lots of informational content. However, I still think there's a place for these product review roundups on everyone's site. The problem with creating this kind of content is it's very time consuming. You've got to head over to Amazon. You've got to find some of the best products and maybe a couple of the worst. You've then got to read through all the information around that product, summarize it, extract some of the technical data, then maybe read through some of the Amazon reviews to get a general feel on how well the product performs. Is it any good? What's its problems? And all this can take a lot of time. Nobody got time for that. But not anymore. Of course, we now live in the future, basically. <laughs> there is AI everywhere. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use AI to create an Amazon product review roundup really easily and really quickly. Now, I'm not just talking about the writing of this article. AI can actually pull down all the information regarding the products. It can choose the best products. And then all you gotta do is a little bit of editing and some publishing and you're good to go. Now, I'm gonna be using the fantastic Koala Writer in this video. It's a tool that I've used previously. Did you see my video on it? Ah. It was that one where I was able to create 40 articles in a day using Koala. Do go check it out if you've not watched it already. If you are new to Koala, I'm gonna put a link up now and also a link in the description. Use that link to go sign up. It's an affiliate link. I really do appreciate it if you use it. So I think we should get started. I'm gonna be creating the entire article. I'm also gonna be publishing it to one of my websites so you can see my entire process and you can get a real feel in terms of how long this process is gonna take. Let's get on the computer. So here is Koala Writer. As I said, if you haven't yet got an account, you'll find a link below. Do go check out this fantastic bit of software. If you use my link, I really do appreciate it. It's an affiliate link. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is decide which version of GPT we're gonna go for. Now, I still use GPT 3.5. I find the output very good. It's quick, it's cheaper. So yeah, all round, it's my favorite. I mean, I guess eventually I'll move to GPT-4, but I can't really see any benefit in using it at the moment. Let's choose the article type, which of course is Amazon Product Roundup. Next is the target keyword, which uh, for me this time, this is of course what the article is gonna be about. For me, we're gonna write an article about the best air fryers for popcorn. We then get to choose the Amazon domain. Amazon.com is fine. Number of products, I'm gonna go for um, five, I think. Yeah, five is, is a good number. Next, we've got this option, which I always turn off because it doesn't sit very well with me. Basically, if you leave this switched on, Koala will write the article like it's actually bought and tested out the products, which of course I haven't, so I don't wanna imply I have. I, I feel there's like an honesty thing there. It lacks a little bit of integrity to say that you have bought and used products when you haven't. So I, I learn, leave that switched off or switch it off anyway. If of course you have bought the products, then, then why are you even using this? You should probably just write your own review. <laughs> anyway, next you put the Amazon tracking ID in because Koala's gonna create some affiliate links for you. And if you put your tracking ID in, then there'll be your affiliate links. Now I'm gonna be, probably changing them, but I'll put it in there for now. Next is an Amazon search URL. Now, if you just wanna make sure that Koala chooses the right product, then this is useful. And in fact, I'm gonna use this by um, going over to Amazon, doing a search for air fryers. And yeah, there we go. I just want it to use air fryers. What can happen, it can get confused. And you know, in this particular example, it might start including popcorn makers and, and things like that, which I don't want in this article. So I'm gonna stick that in uh, the Amazon search URL. And then we've got the point of view. First person is fine. We've got the language, English, tone of voice, SE optimized, all those three are absolutely fine. I wanna include an FAQ section. I don't need the outline editor. 
That's all good. Let's click create article and see what happens. Okay, there we go. It's starting to write the article. Now this is obviously gonna take, I don't know, maybe five minutes maximum. So let me leave it to do its thing and I'll do a quick video edit and we'll, we'll see what the output looks like. Well now, okay, the article's finished. It only took a few minutes and well, here it is. It's chosen some of the best air fryers for popcorn. It's also written a little bit about why um, using an air fryer is good for popcorn and some of the things you need to consider when choosing an air fryer um, for popcorn. So it's all here. And then at the bottom, we've got our FAQ and a bit of a, a little buying guide as well. It all looks really nice. It all looks really nice. So it's going to need a little bit of editing as all AI content does. So let's get it onto my WordPress site and let's start the edit. Now you can create a draft automatically with Koala. You can hook up your WordPress site to Koala. Now, I've actually got a different website hooked up than the one I wanna actually publish on, so I'm just gonna copy. So it's gonna copy it into my clipboard. The website is this one, it's Snack Eagle, which is a brand new site that I'm working on. Or when I say brand new, it's actually a rebrand of uh, Best Corn Popper. It's not ready to launch yet, but I'm adding a bit of new content and restructuring and, and doing a lot of work on it. And one of the things I need is this article on the best air fryers for popcorn. So let's add it. I'm gonna click new and post. Okay, and then I'm gonna paste. And then there we go, there's all my content. Uh, this is the title, so I need to take this out and put that in the title, get rid of this heading right here. By the way, this site, um, did you see it? It's running a popcorn theme, which is the theme created by myself, Phil and Carl. If you're interested, which you should be, because it's a fantastic theme, even if I do say so myself, I'll put a link up right now. You'll also find a little discount code down there, which is just for you. Uh, get you a little bit off the uh, the license fee. Go check it out. Okay, so this title, um, let's uh, let's tidy it up. I don't like crispy and healthy snacks at home. Doesn't make any sense. Um, I'm just gonna put a year. I think a year is very good on these kind of product posts because of course products change all the time. They go out of date. So putting a date on it, I think is quite helpful. Okay, so let's start the edit. I'm gonna try and do this as quickly as possible because we are trying to save time, aren't we? And, and optimize our, our processes. So blah, blah, blah. I don't like any blah, blah, blah. We know what air fryers are. Let's, let's take that out. Don't like that. I like articles to be concise and clear and no waffle. When choosing an air, there are a few critical things to consider. Okay. I like these, but I think they might be better in a little bullet form. So let's do that. Let's make it even easier to read. So um, let's add a list like this, uh, size of the air fryer basket. Okay, what I'm gonna do is just bold that up like that and then afterwards put this um, like that. Next, uh, temperature range. Temperature range, again, let's bold that up. Capital T. Uh, let's rewrite that for clarity. Those blue lines are being generated by Grammarly. You know Grammarly, the AI kind of rating assistant, which is a, an extension in my browser. Okay, you get the idea. Let me just speed up this edit. You don't wanna watch the whole thing. Okay, that's the temperature range done. Now it's only got two things to consider, which I think there's more. So this is where I like to mix up my AI a little bit and I'm gonna pull up ChatGPT and just quickly ask ChatGPT uh, things to consider when buying an air fryer for popcorn. Capacity, we've got that power. Yeah, temperature control. Um, Okay, let's go for power. That's different than temperature control. Power. Higher wattage 
equals quicker popcorn. Perfect. See, ChatGPT, I, I love just combining all the tools together to make a super tool. Air circulation. I'm just going to copy paste this. Let's get it in there. Oh, hang on. In there. Okay. We need to get one or two more. What else we got here? Safety features, easy to clean. I mean, they've all got safety features, surely. Can't have one without safety features. Let's say about easy to clean. Okay, I like that one. Dishwasher. Okay, let's add one more, then I think we've got a perfect little intro. Um, Oh, okay, I'm gonna to have to go for safety features because I don't like additional features. Take all of that, that's fine. Okay. Perfect, so we don't need this now. Let's get rid of that paragraph. After researching, I haven't tested, I'm gonna take that out. Uh, the top four air fryers, hang on, one, two, three, four, f five. Got to check the AI, right? So we're top five, the top five air fryers. I don't like anything that says in this article for some reason. Okay. It's not always the healthiest snack. Okay, I'm gonna to link to a previous article. For that, nutrition. There we go. Always include internal links in your content. It's really good for SEO. There's a bonus tip there. Okay. Here are our favorite popcorn making air fryers. Perfect. So here is the, the product. Now, this is an affiliate link, which is fine. Um, and then we've got some text, pros and cons, and a bit of blurb. So these images, gotta be careful, because Amazon say that if you're gonna be using images, you really need to use the site stripe or the API. You can't just kind of rip them off like this. So yeah, I wouldn't do that. You may uh, be going against the Amazon affiliate terms of use, terms of service, whatever they call it. So yeah, be careful. However, what I'm gonna do, I think, just to um, make it really easy for the visitor to decide quickly, which is the best uh, air fryer, I'm gonna insert a little table. And to do that, I'm gonna use AAWP, which is one of my favorite API-based Amazon plugins. It basically pulls down the product information from Amazon for you, displays it in a nice table. So that'll only take a few minutes to, to set up. Um, I guess you don't need to, to watch me do that. I have got um, a video on AAWP, so if you are using AAWP or you want to use AAWP, go check that out. I'll put a link as well to AAWP in the description, but let me just do a quick edit while I create the table using AAWP. Okay, I've done the table in AAWP, looking pretty sweet. Uh, there it is. As I said, you'll find a link in the description to my AAWP video. It's a little bit old, that video, but it's still uh, relevant. AAWP hasn't really changed much. So we've got our table. It's, it's right here. It doesn't look so good in the editor, but it looks all right in the front. And now let's go through these products and get them all tidied up. Now, what I'm going to use is um, some of the features from Popcorn Theme to show these, uh, these products off in a nice way. So I think that link's fine, that affiliate link right there. This image, this image has got to go, I'm afraid, as I said, I'm not comfortable about just using images like that. You really need to use a site stripe, which is what we'll do right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a um, product pattern, which is part of a popcorn theme, but you can obviously format your products however you'd like. So uh, what have we got that looks nice? That one's quite nice down there with the pros and cons. Um, yeah, let's give that a try.
Okay, so this image, that's the first thing I'm gonna um, replace. I'm just gonna delete that, and then in here, I'm gonna add some HTML so I can use my site stripe. You know the site stripe, right? And you visit the product on Amazon. Up here, when you sign up as an affiliate, you've got your site stripe. And then I can just go image, large, scoop up this code. Oh, hang on, let's make sure that we've got the right tracking ID, of course, popcorn. I'm gonna go for large. And then we can just come back in here and pop that in. And then all I'm gonna do I'm gonna to have to rewrite this a little bit because it hasn't quite talked about popcorn. I'm gonna to have to write it. A great choice for popcorn. As with its four quart ceramic coated non-stick basket, you can pop a lot of popcorn in a single batch, okay? So we don't need that anymore. Okay, then all we need to do is put these pros and cons uh, up here, so we can just copy those in. I like that um, 400 degrees with a temperature of up to 400 degrees. It's perfect. for popcorn popping. It's always gonna be a little bit of editing and adding and changing with AI, which is good because if you just publish AI as it is, you're not really adding any value. You do need to edit it and add your own uh, bits and bobs. Okay, there we go. I did a quick edit because I was you know, messing around and stuff. It's, you don't wanna watch me do all that stuff. So I put the title, where is it? Get out of it. Up here, just copy and paste that so it's in the box. Uh, did the pros and cons from down here. I rewrote them a little bit so that they were more uh, more popcorny. Let's get rid of this now. And uh, well, let's have a look. Let's take a look at what that looks like in a new tab. There we go. Looks good. Looks nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through this text here, see if it's good. This is all very generic text, so I think I'm gonna remove that. And I'm just gonna expand this a little bit by including the, the couple of the downsides. So let's do that now. Um, that might be interesting. Let me put that little downside there. We can come at temperature. Coming up to the temperature required for popcorn. Okay. There we have it. So now we can get rid of all this here. And then I basically, let me remove that button. Basically just need to repeat this process on the remaining um, four products. Um, so yeah, let me do that and then we'll carry on. Okay, that only took me a few minutes. I've sorted out all of the the products. They're all looking good. I've, I've had to rewrite a bit of it, uh, especially the pros and cons. I wanted to make sure they were very popcorn related. So, you know, making sure that we're, you know, using the words popcorn rather than meals or whatever. So didn't take too long though. And yeah, they're looking really nice. Obviously dropped in the site stripe. And um, I set these links to be um, open in a new window, a new tab, uh, added the links to the buttons. And yeah, we're, we're good. So now we've just got this buying guide just to check out and the FAQ stuff, which I'm just gonna mark up using um, 
Rank Math. Use Rank Math, right? It's, a, it's a free SEO plugin. It's really cool. I'll show you uh, one of the features in a second. So the buying guide, um, this looks good. I'm going to just optimize it a little bit with um, Grammarly. Uh, higher wattage, uh, can, yep, good. Uh, essential, yeah, I like it, like it. Uh, okay, timer, very good. That's good. Sometimes you have to watch Grammarly, it might change stuff so it doesn't make sense. Okay, so let me just quickly show you that FAQ feature from Rank Math. Now, actually, I should say that when you publish um, straight in with um, Koala, which I didn't, obviously I copied and pasted, but if you hook up your website and publish, it will actually mark up the FAQ with some schema automatically. So schema, for those of you that don't know, is a little bit of code that you put around elements on or within a piece of content just to make it clear to Google what that is actually about. So obviously this is an FAQ, so I want to um, make sure that Google is aware of it. So with Rank Math SEO, which I'll put a link to in the description. With Rank Math SEO, you get this uh, FAQ by Rank Math, and this will then add the schema for you. So you just have to copy paste your questions in like this. Then we add another one. These are all uh, all good. Should probably add a few more internal links. I've got some stuff. Um, loads of microwave popcorn things I'm pretty sure well I'll add them later <laughs> as I said before internal links are very important how to make popcorn okay that's fine okay so I don't need these um, these questions anymore let's get rid of them I mean the only thing that's kind of missing I guess is a, um, a summary Let's quickly add one. Final thoughts. And I like my uh, my summaries, final thoughts, conclusions to be very short. So let's write something like um, an air fryer. Is a great way to make popcorn by choosing one of our recommended products. And ordering from Amazon, you'll be popping your kernels in a healthy way in no time. I need to rewrite that. That was just off the top of my head. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I guess the final, ultimately, the ultimate final thing is what I'm trying to say is we need a featured image, of course. We need a featured image. I mean, I'm going to publish this. This site's not live yet, so it's fine. We can publish. Yeah, we need the featured image for the top because the article is looking nice. Let's have a look. The table, the products. And the FAQs, it's looking good, but we need that that um, the featured image at the top. Now, I love Canva. To Canva, as I often say on my streams. You've been on the streams, right? I do live streams regularly. Are you missing out? Make sure you subscribe, then you won't miss out. You can do that right now. Uh, just click the button below. So yeah, I love to use Canva. So let's quickly knock something up in Canva. You'll find a link to Canva below. Of course, it's a affiliate link. Thank you very much if you use it. But with Canva, you have, you know, it's easy. You can just, you know, get rid of this stuff. There we go. And what we need is these images. Can I nick this image? Here we go. That's a little small, but actually it might be about the right size. I mean, to be fair, for this, you can borrow the images from Amazon. I won't say anything. You just gotta be really careful if you, uh, if you link images using your affiliate link, that's, that's the, the gray area. So yeah, what I could do is I can you know, just pop these in, remove the background. Um, we need like a kitchen worktop or something to put them on, don't we? So we could just go in here, uh, kitchen, uh, kitchen background, perfect. I've used it before. 
Um, what do we got? Let's see all these lovely photos. Oh, oh, I love the one with the yellow background. That's nice. Need it a lot bigger, of course. Has it got too much stuff on it? Maybe it's got too much stuff on it. It's got too much clutter. Um, maybe this one. Yeah, that'll do, that'll do. So yeah, we could just, you know, add these air fryers like this. Of course, you need to add a little, uh, little shadow, I guess, to make it look proper. Um, not so intense, less distance, maybe a little bit more intense. So yeah, you get the idea, you get the idea. Hang on, it's gone weird. So what I'll do is I'll add all these. Um, again, I'll use the magic of video editing to speed up time. Okay, couldn't quite get all five on, but I think four's fine. <laughs> Let's just add a bit of popcorn to make this a little popcorn-y. You know, oh, just, uh, you know, get some popcorn uh, along the front here. Any more popcorn? That one's the same, right? Yeah. A bowl of popcorn might be nice. Um, I'd rather have one that um, didn't have a background, but of course we can easily remove the background. There we go, I've used that bowl before, but that's fine. Add a little shadow. Okay, I think we could, maybe just a, oh, that's the one. That's the one, I could have just used that all along. Didn't see that there. That's the one. I want to see all these. This is all, this is perfect. This is perfect. Popcorn everywhere. I don't know if I've got my scales quite right. The popcorn looks a little big, but I think we get the idea. Anyway, let's let's wrap this article up. So I'm just going to download this um, this image. JPEG is the best for uh, for your site. Obviously, you want small images. Best air fryer for popcorn. There we go. So let's just add that. I'll put a link um, to this uh, post down below so you can check it. I need to obviously put it in the right category. Popcorn, upload. There we go. I'll notice there's an extra bullet point there, don't need that. Okay, I think we're done, let's take a look. What a featured image, what a featured image. There's the article. I like it, I like it. So yeah, if you wanna go take a look for yourself, I'll put a link to the, the post here on Snack Eagle, you can go take a look. But that, that is it. I mean, is it perfect? No. Is any AI writing software perfect? Not really. Should you be editing your content that you create with AI? Yes, of course. So, I mean, I didn't keep time, but it, I think all in all, it took me around 20 minutes to half an hour to create this article much quicker than just doing it by hand. I mean, the legwork is really, you know, finding the right products on Amazon and getting all that information. And, um, and Koala does that pretty well, I've got to say. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions or comments, then do leave them below. And yeah, if you did enjoy it, why not click the like button? I'll see you on the next one. Good luck with your sites.